People are rightly scared of what could happen with the YouTube Heroes thing. If they don't set any sort of standards as to how people are supposed to be moderating, and they're just like, well, you know, uh, flag things that, that, that make you feel bad, then, I mean, that's going to be fucking disastrous. Someone could be reading song lyrics, and that could make someone feel bad, you know? Uh, and another thing that this could end up being, well, you know, they might shove forth, well, you know, anything that doesn't uh, promote social justice needs to be uh, needs to be removed, you know. And it's like, wow, if they go that kind of route, and I don't know whether that's, I mean, that's, I don't think that's something that they would intentionally push, but, I mean, what happens if they don't, they don't do follow-ups to make sure that people haven't removed haven't flagged videos, maybe not removed, but haven't flagged videos for false reasons, for bullshit reasons. What happens to the people that are caught doing that, flagging videos for bullshit reasons? Um, do they just have it their, you know, the those privileges taken away, or uh, what? Do does it do, does their channel suffer? Could uh, their channel be terminated if they're shown to do something like that? You know, what are the consequences of? Uh, people flagging things incorrectly, you know, in, in ways that they know are incorrect, but they're, you know, they're flagging them for false reasons, you know. Um, or maybe some people actually don't realize it's for false reasons, and it's just all about, again, their feelings. Oh, well, this made me feel bad. Well, that by itself shouldn't be... Uh, uh, I mean, some movies can make you feel bad. A song can make you feel bad. As I said, or ly lyrics could make you feel bad. Um, seeing the aftermath of uh, a, a nuclear explosion uh, could make you feel bad. Uh, looking at uh, footage of a, of a mushroom cloud could make you feel bad. Talking about uh, the bad things about war could make you feel bad. There are, there are so many things that could make you feel bad. It's almost limitless. And I'm just hoping that it doesn't get used for those purposes. And it may. It may. But I can't say that I would be all weepy or anything like that. Because honestly, I would be kind of... I would be filled with a little bit of joy watching the Ponage channels uh, get taken down. And I know it's I know it's wrong. I know it's censorship, but man, honestly, you know, it, it, if I'm being emotionally honest, man, I I would have some joy out of seeing that. Even if my channel gets taken down, you know, it, it, just knowing that those those ponage channels were taken down, I'd be just yeah, you know, sorry. Um, I'm not going to promote for it. I'm not going to. Uh, you know, tell people they should uh, flag those things down like that. But if it happened, if it happened, yeah, I I would be filled with joy because I think it's it is that it, if there's anything online that could be considered immoral, it's it's making money, making a living off of bullying people. I, th I think it's detestable. It's it's disgusting. And watching that come to an end, yeah, that's going to fill me with joy. Now, here's the thing that I think is going to happen, though, is now that people know this sort of thing is going on, and when we start to see the effects of it, if it, if it is as devastating as it seems like it could potentially be, then we're going to be watching people create brand new channels and start just, I mean, even if they have a very short upload limit, people are going to upload videos, link to the different videos, tons of links to videos that may not even be public, and, uh, you know, unlisted videos, and it's, it's kind of try to, like, use YouTube, it, try to underground it as much as possible, you know, so lots of stuff is filled with unlisted videos, and, uh, that may stop a lot of the flaggings, um, unless their special mass flagging system has something where it will go even go through unlisted videos. I don't know. A month ago, I 
somewhere around a month ago, I had made this decision. I talked about it in a couple of videos already, but I, I need to reiterate now. You know, uh, this thing that I that happened recently, and it's happened a few other times, uh, where I was saying, well, you know, I'm going to stop making uh, a social commentary videos. And people's support, you know, got me back, and I appreciate that very much. Um, but I'm, uh, I've had this plan on if this platform, if YouTube doesn't improve by March, that I was at that point on my birthday in March, I was going to, you know, after my birthday, it'd be, nope, sorry, no more social commentary. And this is if the platform didn't improve in some way. And, you know, we'll, we'll see. We'll see what happens. But it looks like there are some steps being taken to do things they should have been working on for a long time previous. So it's going to be interesting to watch what happens here. Some parts of it I'll probably be getting out the popcorn. And uh, I'm sorry. Sorry. You know, I, I feel very sorry for those who are making content that is not mean, that that could be uh, taken down just because someone gets offended, like like I said, at a game or something like that. I mean, this is, this is people that are going to be losing their incomes. And some of them are making really, really decent content. Thoughtful, reasonable content. And their stuff is, is at risk, too. And this is real censorship. This isn't like the demonetization thing, which was not censorship. Okay, what's coming up here is censorship. Let's make no mistake about it. I will call censorship uh, censorship when it's actually censorship. Demonetization is not censorship. censorship. No matter... Well, it's soft censorship. Okay. All right. Soft science versus hard science. <laughs> Sorry. Soft censorship. A soft penis fucking a hole in the ground in Southeast Asia with a torch and a pitchfork and uh, planetary linearation. <laughs> 